What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video, we are checking out the latest e-bike from Fido. The one that we have here today, it's called the Fido Titan and it's called Titan because it is a massive bike. So we get 26 inch wheels on the front and of course on the back and these are also the four inch wide tires. So you get a monster of a bike with fat tires. And let me tell you, whenever you take the bike anywhere, people just stop and turn their heads and look at you because the bike does look massive and kind of unique at the same time. Now with this bike, you can also get three batteries. Now out of the box and the configuration that I have just um, comes with one battery that's located in the frame here, but you can actually buy two additional batteries for it. And if you want extended range, and when I'm talking about extended range, I'm talking about up to 400 kilometers on one charge. You can get two more batteries for it. And I believe you install those on the back um, here somehow. But the one that I got only has um, one battery. The bike is also powered by a 750 watt motor that's located in the rear wheel here. So plenty of power for pretty much any situation. We have a torque sensor. So we don't have a speed sensor like most bikes out there. We have a front suspension and also hydraulic um, disc brakes. With that being said, let's do a bit of an unboxing just so I can show you how the bike comes packed in the box and what you have to do to get this ready and on the road. All right, so as you'd expect, the bike comes in a pretty massive box, of course, because the bike itself is pretty big and that box is also pretty heavy. So you do need a second person to move that box around. Now, the bike itself is pretty heavy. So with one battery pack, this uh, has a weight of about 38 kilos. So if you're hoping to carry this around, that's not going to be the case because the bike is pretty heavy. If you have to take this up the stairs, yeah, it's not going to be easy. So you do have to do a bit of an installation when you first take the bike out of the box. You have to put the pedals together. You have to put the front wheel together, the front mud guard. You have to put um, the handlebar here together. And when you put the handlebar together, you can also adjust the angle of the handlebar. So I have mine set so I sit up straight. But if you don't want a straight position, you can um, basically put it a bit um, more towards the front. So it really depends how you want to ride the, the bike. You also have to put the light together. And just in case you can find where to plug the cables in, because you have to plug a few cables in, they basically go under the screen here to make it easy so you don't have to look in that um, user manual. All in, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to get this ready and on the road. Taking a quick look at the bike, yes, the bike does look a bit different than most other bikes available on the market, mostly because of the massive frame that we have here. As I said, the battery pack is actually located in the frame here. So yes, if you want a bike that doesn't look like all the other bikes out there, definitely check this one out. So on the front here, we have a front suspension. This has about two and a half inches of travel. So whenever you are going over bumps, over curbs, um, over uneven terrain, that definitely helps. But keep in mind that you also have those massively fat tires. So whenever you go over bumps and stuff, it almost feels like nothing because the tires are so big and will soak up a lot of those bumps. So if you want to do a bit of off-roading with a bike, you definitely can, even though I wouldn't personally take this bike just for off-roading. There are plastic mud guards on the front here and of course um, on the back. Now I didn't ride the bike in rain because well, it doesn't really rain here that um, often, but they do seem big enough to offer you decent protection from um, splashing. But again, I didn't ride the bike um, on rain. On the back here we have um, a rack. So if you want to carry something um, on the bike, you definitely can. And as I said, you can also attach two more batteries to this. On the back here, we also have the rear light. Now, this is not the brightest light that I've seen, but it does act as a brake light. So whenever you push the, pull the brake levers here, that one will light up um, a bit more. And on the front, we have another light. This is also the horn um, for the bike. And this light here is massive. However, it doesn't make that much light um, at night. I was expecting it to have this massive light, but no, the light is kind of concentrated um, in front of you. So I was hoping it would be a bit um, wider, but overall the light does look cool and you can still see that light um, during the day. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the bike is powered by a 750 watt motor that's located in the rear wheel here. Now, even though I tried a lot of bikes that have 750 watt motors, this one seems to have a bit more power than all the other um, bikes that I've tried. So with this one, even on steeper hills, even around here, you can actually go most of the time just by accelerating um, with the throttle here. With most other 750 watt um, bikes that I've tried in the past, you do have to pedal to go up these hills. Now, pedaling is very easy. 
but this one seems to have a bit more power than uh, normal, I'm gonna say. So let me quickly show you a quick uh, test that I've done uphill. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how the bike goes uphill. And well, it does go uphill really, really well. So we have a pretty steep uh, hill around here. I'm in the fourth gear, I'm in uh, Turbo Plus. And as you can see, I'm actually accelerating with a throttle. Our hill starts around here. I'm not sure if you can actually tell on the camera, but it is a fairly steep uh, hill. I will have to pedal a bit, but the bike can go uh, on not as steep hills um, really well just to the throttle. So no pedaling quite yet. It's slowing down a bit now, but still going, still going. I think this is the best for climbing this hill. I don't remember any other 750 watt uh, motorbike that was able to go uphill without uh, pedaling like this one. So this is pretty impressive, um, I have to say. If I do start pedaling a bit, of course I can increase that speed to about 25 uh, kilometers an hour and all that uphill. So going up hills, really impressive on this bike. Now with all that power, you're also gonna need a lot of stopping power. So out of the box, this bike is limited to 25 kilometers an hour, but you can easily unlock it. And if you unlock it, it will go up to 45 kilometers an hour. Personally, I've left mine locked 25 kilometers an hour. So talking about brakes, these are hydraulic disc brakes. And compared to all the other e-bikes that I got to try up until now, these ones are actually larger, so the discs um, on this one are um, larger. Most other e-bikes that I got to try are about 160, 180 millimeter discs. Well, these ones um, are larger. So really good stopping power from this bike um, as well. So if you really want, you can lock that front and rear wheel. I don't recommend that you do that, but um, yes, really good stopping power. Now, if you don't want to use the electric motor for this bike, you can just ride it as a regular bike and you can also pedal as a regular bike. So the bike is equipped with the nine gear shifter system and shifting gears up and down is done flawlessly and I didn't actually have to adjust the, that shifter from uh, the box. So everything did work good. The bike is also equipped with a torque sensor, unlike most of these bikes that I got to try that have a speed sensor. Now, with a torque sensor, you're going to get a sensation of pedaling that's closer to an actual bicycle. So basically the harder you push on that pedal, the more power the bike will give you. That's good for the efficiency of the bike because you're not gonna use as much power with a system like this and you get exactly how much power you want. With most other bikes that have a speed sensor, they basically accelerate till they get them to that top limit. Well, that's not the case with this one. With this one, you actually have to pedal to get the bike to whatever level of speed you want. Now, the bike is also equipped with a throttle here. So if you don't accelerate at all, you can just accelerate with the throttle. So it is entirely up to you how you use the bike. Okay, and moving on to the seat. The seat is nice and wide. It does have plenty of padding. Of course, you can adjust it in height but I'm gonna say that this is not the most comfortable seat that I've ever been on. So it is comfy enough, but I did try other bikes with the comfier seats. However, you can still ride for um, a couple of hours without um, getting tired. Moving on to the handlebar. So the handlebar is nice and wide. And as I said earlier, you can kind of adjust how close or how far away the handlebar is from you. So you do get a very comfortable position. You don't have to put pressure on your um, wrist. So I'm very, very happy about that. The grips here don't seem to move at all, no matter what you do. The brake levers are made out of uh, metal. You can also adjust them um, a bit. We have um, the shifting system on the right-hand side here. And on the left-hand side here, we have um, a few buttons. So you can kind of control the bikes in a couple of ways, either from these buttons or the buttons that we have underneath um, the screen here. Now, in the box, I also got this bell here. However, the bike actually has um, a horn in the light so let me just power it on and this is how it sounds so you can either use that bell or the horn maybe if you're um, just pedaling you don't have the power the bike powered on you can just use that bell maybe that was the thought um, behind it all right and um, as for the screen here well the screen is smaller than most other um, e-bikes that i got to try in the past but that's not necessarily a bad thing because you just get the information that you need to get so basically the speed the assistance level that you're in 
and the battery. If you do press the mode button, you can get a bit more information about your current um, ride. So even though the screen is not massive, I feel that for an e-bike, this screen is perfect. So as I mentioned earlier, the battery pack is located in the frame here and the battery pack is also removable. Now to remove that, you don't uh, need keys. Um, you basically press the arrow down and arrow um, up at the same time. And then you're going to get a keypad. You enter the unlock code out of the box. This is one, two, three, four. And that will unlock the battery pack. So yes, you can charge that battery pack at home if you want. But if you want to charge it in the bike, the charging port is right here. So I'm kind of happy that we don't get keys with this bike anymore because I always forgot to bring the keys with all the other bikes. So you can do that from uh, the screen there. And there is also an app, which personally I didn't really try, that um, will kind of allow you to do the exact same thing. So if you want to unlock that battery pack, you do it from um, the screen. Now, for the range, the manufacturer says that you can get up to 135 kilometers on one charge. Now, that really depends if you're pedaling, what kind of a terrain you're riding, or if you're riding uphill, if it's cold, if you're heavy, and so on. If you just use the throttle and you don't pedal at all, you're going to get about 40 kilometers because the battery pack is not the largest um, out there. So I can't really tell you an exact number. It really depends how you're going to ride the bike. For example, if you ride just on these hills all day long, you're probably going to get about 25 kilometers because, of course, the bike has to put a lot of uh, power into assisting you. So it really depends how you're going to be riding. All right, so let me quickly show you how you would use this bike. So we basically have the power button right here. You hold this pressed for about four seconds and then the screen comes on. Here we have a few buttons. You can change assistance levels from here. So we have about five levels of assistance. Turbo Plus, this is no assistance at all. We have Eco, we have Normal, we have Sport, Turbo and Turbo Plus. For this test, we'll just go with Turbo, I guess. And from here, from the mode button, you can basically change the screen. So you can have that main screen where it um, shows you the speed, or you can have this screen that um, shows you different um, things, like the time of the ride, how long the ride was, um, the average speed, and so on. For this test, we're gonna leave it in um, that. So this bike is using a torque sensor. So unlike those other um, e-bikes that have speed sensors, this one will give you as much power as you ask for, basically. So the harder you push on the pedal, the more power the bike will give you. So first I'm going to show you how the bike uh, goes like that. So we'll start uh, pedaling. I'm in the fourth um, gear. So as soon as you push on the pedal, the bike will start uh, giving you power. So the harder you push, the faster you'll uh, go and the more the bike will um, basically assist you. So very, very easy to ride that way. If you just want to go nice and slow, the bike will only give you a bit of um, power. So very, very nice having a torque sensor compared to a speed sensor. If you don't want to pedal at all, let's stop here. We have the throttle right here. So you can actually accelerate just with the throttle and you don't have to pedal at all. And this, one, this bike has a lot of power. So I think for a 750 watt motor, it has the most power from all the other bikes that I got to try up until now. So to use the throttle, you just accelerate and the bike will uh, go by itself. You don't have to do anything. And of course, it's gonna reach that 25 km an hour uh, top speed. And we'll do a brake test somewhere around here. So if you wanna lock those wheels, you definitely can. We'll do another brake test here. So again, if you don't want to use the throttle, you can just pedal normally. So very, very nice riding this bike. I absolutely love having this um, torque sensor because with all the other bikes that have speed sensors, they always want to push you to the top speed, uh, which is like 18, 25 um, or whatever. But to this one, you kind of control how fast you're going based on how uh, you pedal. So really, really nice uh, experience with this. So to quickly conclude this video, if you're looking for one of these massive looking bikes with fat tires, and I'm talking about the 26 inch um, wheel uh, tires, because this um, one is a bit larger than um, the other folding ones that uh, you typically see with fat tires, this is a really, really good choice. I actually don't have anything bad to say about this bike. With most other bikes, I do find something that I don't like, 
But this is one of my favorite bikes that I got to try, at least this kind of bike that um, I got to try up until now. A lot, a lot of power. The range on one charge is decent enough, I'm gonna say, plus you can get those some um, additional batteries. So overall, a great bike. As always, there will be some links in the video's description if you wanna check this out. All right, guys, hopefully this video was useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.